Hi, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Are you feeling stuck in your life right now? Maybe you realized you were holding yourself back from your goals and happiness. Or maybe you realized that you need to put to rest some bad habits and wanna move forward with your life. To help you shake things up a little and help you start moving forward, here are six lies you need to stop telling yourself. Number one, you don't have enough to be happy yet. How often do you get stuck thinking about the things you could have gotten, but didn't? Whether it was a job promotion, a new car, a new house, thinking about the what ifs in life can make it hard to see the bigger picture. When you think this way, your focus becomes more so on what you don't have versus what you do have. Are you obsessing over things you don't have? Do you feel distracted from your current present? Do you feel like you'll never have enough to be happy? If this sounds like you, it's time to make a conscious effort to focus and be more mindful of what you do have. Maybe you don't have the newest, fastest car, but you do have a car that runs pretty good. It's reliable and it gets you where you need to be. Or maybe you haven't been able to move into your dream home yet, but you do have a nice enough roof over your head that's comfortable and warm. When you shift your mindset onto what you do have, it helps lower that frenzied sense of distraction while also helping you stay positive about your life and where it's headed. Number two, you're not good enough. When you think back, has there been anything you haven't been able to accomplish or achieve simply because you weren't confident enough in your abilities? Was it that you didn't try out for the team or the school play? You might think you're not smart enough to ace an exam or that you're not attractive enough to have a partner. When you have low self-esteem, your self-worth is minimized and thinking that you aren't good enough can negatively impact your performance. You might even get to a point where you feel like trying to do anything is a waste of time. To help combat this issue with your self-esteem, make a list of your strengths and weaknesses. You can figure out ways to refine and embellish your stronger traits while realizing that your weaker traits don't always have to be on display and that they're also a part of who you are as a whole. You can grow in confidence and shine your light for all to see when you put this into practice. Number three, you don't have the willpower. Have you ever looked up to successful people and noted their habits and thought to yourself, I don't think I have the willpower to do that. You might be using this thought process as an excuse to give in to certain pressures more easily. For example, if you think that waking up early would be a good idea, but you use lack of willpower as an excuse to sleep in instead, you're preventing yourself from forming a healthy habit. Making certain changes in life can be hard, whether they're big or small changes. But once you start, your sense of will strength and integrity will grow. What you need to do is set yourself for success by making some changes in your environment. If you wanna get up early, make sure that you have enough time at night to wind down. Reducing the time spent on your electronic devices right before bedtime will help you go to bed earlier and you'll wake up feeling more rested. So while it doesn't seem like much, making these small changes in your environment will set you up for success. Number four, it's too late for you. Have you ever felt discouraged thinking that it's too late? You refrain from changing jobs or from finding a lasting romantic partner because you feel like time has passed you by? The truth is, it's never too late for you. You might be letting societal expectations guide your timeline, such as giving into the pressure to go to college right after high school and feeling like you have to obtain your bachelor's degree by age 25. However, remember that you are your own person and you're allowed to follow your own path at your own pace. Some people graduate from college in their 60s. Some of the richest people in the world only found success when they were in their 40s or 50s. Don't feel the need to restrain yourself with arbitrary timelines. You can accomplish things at your own pace. Number five, anything that's not perfect has to be a failure. Do you get discouraged and beat yourself up when you, for whatever reason, feel like you can't do something perfectly? When you're constantly striving for perfection, you might be setting the bar too high for yourself. We are all flawed. And if you try to ignore or stamp out those flaws, you'll only wind up hurting yourself. Don't let your pursuit for perfection be a decisive factor in your life. Choose to go forth and give it your all instead. Remember, you'll always miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And number six, you can change people. Do you think you have the inherent power to change others? Do you get into a relationship with a new partner with the hope or desire to change or fix them for the better? If there's something you don't like about someone, it's better to learn to accept them as they are. 
you can waste a lot of time and effort trying to change others when they won't make that change unless they have a true desire to change first. Be careful who you give your time and your heart to. Sometimes the only person standing in your way is you. Do any of these lies sound familiar to you? Which lie do you tell yourself and how do you plan to change that? Let us know in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used in this video are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.